Marbella is a boutique luxury condo building in a prime location in East Boca Raton. This 20-story luxury condo building is situated in the heart of Boca Raton's prestigious beachfront right off Palmetto and just east of A1A. Marbella is uniquely positioned just south of South Beach Park, just east of downtown Meisner Park, and just east of Lake Boca. All that while being oceanfront, if that's not incredible, I don't know what else is. And because of all that, the views from most units in the building are simply incredible. Additionally, this building is minutes away from the Boca Raton Club, which is a huge selling point for some prospective residents. Because of all the amenities surrounding the building locationally, and all the amenities within the building, it's almost like you're living on a permanent vacation when you reside here. While most of my buyers who are shopping for homes like this specifically aren't really concerned about the schools, I feel like it's worth mentioning that Marbella is located in an A-rated school district and the schools are as follows. Boca Raton Elementary, Boca Raton Community Middle, and Boca Raton Community High. Each elevator services two units per floor, so when you go into your elevator and you go up to your unit, you get basically a semi-private experience with only one other person on your floor. The size of a Marbella unit ranges between 1,500 and 1,900 square feet, and this floor plan right here is a quick example of what a layout of one of these units will look like. As you can see, the layout is not a split layout, so the bedrooms are both next to each other. And as you can see, there's two bedrooms in the unit, and that is very typical for a Marbella unit. I have not seen a three bedroom unit, and I think there was one one bedroom unit that ever sold in the building. Now, almost every unit in this building has a direct east view, so view of the ocean, and then a direct west view, view of downtown Boca Raton, Lake Boca, etc. And simply put, these views are incredible for most of these units. So let's start outside. So as you're pulling up to the building, you'll notice that there's underground parking and there's also deck parking. It's important to note that not everyone gets a deeded parking spot underground. Everyone does get one deeded spot, but not everyone gets one underground. So that's something important to find out when you're looking at a unit in this building. Now, there is a ton of guest parking, whether it be on the deck or also across the street, there's just absolutely a ton of parking. So you'll never have a concern parking wise. It's just a matter of if you really want that spot underground. Let me take you for a walk around the building on the outside and then also in the building. And while we're doing all this, I'm going to point out the different amenities that exist here. This building has a ton to offer. Security is pretty tight here. You have a garage door for the underground parking, and then there's a security guard in there as well. And then there's obviously a security guard or a desk manager at the desk. And then there's a full-time manager on site for the association in the building as well. While I'm wandering around the underground parking here, I think it's worth pointing out two things. One, there's great bike storage. And two, every unit gets private storage as well. Let's take a walk across the street and check out the huge guest parking area, the two tennis courts, and the nine privately deeded docks on Lake Boca. Now let me take you back across the street and let's explore the interior of the building, which I also think was done very tastefully. The lobby was recently renovated, including the mail room, the club room, and the gym. And the gym is pretty big relative to most buildings of this age. So I think they did a really good job. Now let's take a walk out back and check out the pool, spa, and the private beach. There is a ton of additional space back here, including a sun deck, a barbecue grill, and a picnic area. Now let's walk through the mangroves down to the beach. Now what's nice about this beach is there's a bunch of mangroves. So you walk down through the mangroves to your private beach. And furthermore, if you want the private experience, you can stay right in front of your building at Marbella. But if you want a little bit more action, just walk a little bit more north and you're at South Beach Park, which is awesome. Now let's discuss the condo association. The fees are about $1,400 a month. There is a doorman in the building 24-7. You are not allowed to rent your unit for the first two years of ownership, and no pets are allowed. Condos in this building have recently sold between one and two million dollars, but I would bet the right unit could sell for more than two million dollars at this point. This building was built in 1975, it's 20 stories, and has about 150 units in it. When you look at the exterior of Marbella, you'll notice that all of the windows are the same. They were all replaced at once by the association, which is nice for many reasons. 
One of which, it gives a great aesthetic from the outside. The second is, no matter what unit you buy in the building, you can rest assured that you have impact windows. Now let's check out the condo amenities checklist and see how this building compares to its neighbors. Condo amenities checklist item one, concrete restoration. Item two, assigned deeded parking. Item three, private beach. Item four, heated pool. Item five, are pets allowed? Item six, washer dryer in unit allowed. Item seven, doorman. Item eight, fitness center. Item nine, sauna. Item 10, game room. Congratulations, you completed seven of the 10 items on the condo amenities checklist brought to you by Florida Homes Boca Raton.